Escalara, a small, humble village, self-sufficient with fertile land and livestock. The people of Escalara led simple, honest lives and knew nothing of conflict. The jail, built centuries ago, stands abandoned because the villagers have only ever experienced peace. Although small, people young and old travelled to Escalara from all corners of the world to attend the school and the first class university. They sought truth and knowledge and wished to discover the secrets of the world. This is Escalara now. The greedy scholar and merchant Miles Morgan has overthrown the government and sent his secret army to destroy anything he perceives as a threat. Unfortunately, Escalara was certainly a threat to Morgan, with its university and school empowering the students with knowledge. Knowledge is power, and power is the greatest threat to Morgan. And so began the destruction of a once great and modest city. The survivors of Escalara face extinction. The water is polluted, there is very little food, and the only shelter is provided by the caves and mines. Disease is spreading, and there are no practitioners of medicine, as they all perish during the sacking of the university. The surviving leaders of the village formed a Miles Morgan resistance group called Freedom, who are determined to help all the survivors, not just those from Escalara. Many travelled to neighbouring villages to collect the survivors and any supplies and bring them all together. The number of combined survivors was disturbingly low and unspoiled supplies much lower. Things were looking desperate indeed. They decided to send three brave Escalarians to search for a safe place to rebuild. After weeks of looking, they found a strange magical portal. One man, Perrin Ironsword, experimented first by extending his arm into the portal. He was able to bring his arm back in one piece, so he then bent forward and sent his head through. What he saw was a different world. He saw no signs of humanity and was pleased that there was oxygen enough to breathe. After reporting back to his companions, Perrin stepped into the rift and never returned. We believe that Perrin would have returned if he was able, and as there is no sign of humanity on the planet, we can only presume that the portal works only one way. Once on the new world, there is no way to return to our world. I guess you are wondering why I have brought you here and are telling you this. You are amongst the seven specially selected teams of four agents who will be sent through the portal with the aim to explore the land and prepare it for the relocation of our desperate citizens of Escalara. We don't know if anyone lives here or if there are any dangers, so we urge you to be cautious. Find shelter at night. That seems to be the time that dangerous creatures come out, no matter what world you're on. Make sure you have the basics needed to survive, food, shelter and resources to make them. Most of all, good luck. Your people are depending on you.